Today, we're at Naparima Bowl and we're doing the first set of our contemporary pieces, which we call Ocean's Crossing, um, Journey of One and Riptide, which is based on the transatlantic um, slave period. The St. Lucia Carri Festa 14 delegation traveled an hour and a half to San Fernando on the island's west coast to tell the story of a people's resilience after the atrocities of slavery. It's a piece that we have taken from um, St. Lucia's story and adapted it where the slaves are rising out of the sand under the sea and they're going on this journey to reach the new world and it's a piece of triumph. Traveling and performing in another Caribbean island has been an enriching experience. Performers have had to adapt as they travel to different venues, each unique in its own way. Right now we're putting on our makeup and um, the dancers are sort of doing a sort of a memory exercise. We already did our technical rehearsals earlier. We had 20 minutes on stage and um, I think that I must commend them. We had never performed in this space. It's almost like a state-of-the-art theatre. For the St. Lucians, it's a learning experience. One they hope to energize a greater love for arts and culture in St. Lucia. What we have discovered as we're going through Trinidad and performing at different places that there is um, spaces to suit every performance, um, the, the theaters. And what is even more striking is the way that they take care of these institutions. <laughs> The St. Lucian cast is also inspired by the deep appreciation of audiences wherever they perform. You can see this general love for the arts and uh, I mean the audiences coming out to these performances. I mean this is almost in the middle of the afternoon at 6 o'clock on a Monday and the place is almost filled. The cast hosted St. Lucia night on Tuesday. And the big performance that everyone's been talking about is slated for Friday. That is the staging of a little folk tale. 